Click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum friends, this is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Dear friends, today my topic is about calculation for the reinforcement and column and footing. So this is the part first lecture. If you have any question about this video, you must comment, I will reply your answer. Must like this video, share this video and subscribe this channel with press bell icon to get notification about every video about civil engineering. Let's start. Different, this is the column footing which dimensions are 300, sorry, 3000 millimeter and 3000 millimeter. And the size for the column is 300 millimeter and 300 millimeter. And the cross section of this column is which depth is 300 millimeter and this is the near concrete which dimension is 100 millimeter okay and between two bars means center to center distance is 200 center to center distance 200 millimeter okay so this is the along y axis and this is along x axis okay x axis and y axis So uh, the both dimensions are in footing 3000 and 3000 millimeter. It means at both sides center to center distance between two bars is 200 millimeter. Also at this side 200 millimeter. Okay. So this is the x axis steels. Okay. This and this one is these are. Okay. So these are the y axis. Right. One is the x-axis and the other one is y-axis and both center to center distance is 200 millimeter. And now I will use at both sides main bar and distribution bars I will use the 12 mm dia and the center to center again I am telling you 200 center to center spacing mean okay 200 millimeter and from plane the level to top of the column which height is 3 meter means 3000 millimeter let's start so first of all I will uh, write here the serial number 1 but I will find out the x axis bars ok x axis these are ok these bars right so we can use here 12 mm dia at the right 200 millimeter center to center distance between two bars okay but if I find out the one side are x axis so it means that I find both sides okay because both dimensions are 3000 by 3000 millimeter okay so now I will use here the dia which is 12 mm okay dia and mm which die is here 12 millimeter right now uh, first of all I will find out the length of this x axis bar length okay so how I can find out and remarks I can calculate here so length for the x axis again I am telling you when I find out the x axis is it means that I will multiply with 2 so it will give us the y axis also still red for our reinforcement okay so length we have 3000 3000 subtract okay concrete cover one side and other side here okay so this is the concrete cover okay bottom cover and side cover are top cover. So these are side cover, okay? So subtract side covers, right? And plus. So these are the band of bar, okay? Band of bar. Also this one. Now we will put here which dimensions are 
300 millimeter. But I will, I will separate the two cover, top up cover and bottom up cover, right? So we have plus two numbers. How? One is this band and the second one is this one. Okay, so we will put here two bands. Multiply what? 300. Okay, this 300. Look at here. 300. And again subtract what? 50. Sorry, I will not use here. Okay, and next uh, I will use here. So again two covers. Two covers mean top up cover and bottom up cover. Right? Now again L is equal 300, 3000 subtract side covers. So one side cover and other side covers we have a 50 mm, okay? 50 mm. So I will use here 50 mm. So side covers. So we have two covers, okay? So two multiply 50 mm, right? Plus we can use here it will come uh, uh, 2 multiply 300, it will come 600, right? And subtract, we have two, uh, two covers, one side and other side, okay? It will come uh, uh, for us uh, how 2 multiply 50 again, because one side cover is 50 and other one, so two covers. Top of the cover and bottom of cover, right? Now I will use calculator for the calculation here. Look at here, L is equal to multiply 50, so it will come uh, uh, 2900 millimeter, okay, from this, plus 600, okay, and we will subtract from here, it will subtract, okay, so again 100, so 2 multiply 50, again 100, so subtract 100 from 600, it will come 500, right? So L is equal, it will come 3400 mm, right? It means 3.4 meters, so this is the length. This is the length of each bar, okay? So I will use here the length 3.4 meter, okay? So length and meter, right? Now I will find out the numbers of steel. Okay, that how much numbers are required in x axis. How much numbers are we will putting along x axis? Okay, here. Like this. But we have to find out this one. Okay. So uh, we have already numbers. Numbers of bar. Right? So uh, for the numbers. I will use here 3000 because 3000 is the length of the x axis, right? 3000 subtract two sides cover. Two sides cover, right? And divide by spacing. Okay? So numbers can become. So, is equal 3000 subtract two side covers. So, 50 by, so two side covers. So, subtract two and multiply 50. And divide by, spacing is 200, okay? Millimeter. 200 millimeter. So it will come for us uh, 2 multiply 50, so it will come uh, uh, how much? Sorry, plus 1. Okay, numbers 3000 minus 2 side, we will put 1, okay? We will add 1 to this. Like so plus 1. I'm sorry for that. So 100, 2900, so 3000 subtract 100, 2 multiply 50. So uh, 100 divided by 200. So 14.5, 14.5 numbers, okay, say 
15 numbers right and 15 numbers I will use here 15 numbers of bar so I need now weight per meter okay for weight per meter I have to use here the formula weight per meter I have already done the one lecture about this how to find out the unit weight of steam per meter okay so unit weight of steam so you can use here uh, weight per meter weight per meter is equal d square divided by 162 okay d is a die off bar okay which is here 12 millimeter so 12 multiply 12 divided by 162 okay which will give us 12 multiply 12 144 divided by 162 144 divided by 162 0 0.88 kg but per meter okay so you will put here weight per meter is 0.88 kg right now I need to find out the total weight of the steel using along x axis right so come here we have so numbers we have total 15 multiply and each bar length is 3.4 okay multiply per meter length is 0 0.88 0 0.88 it will give us 44.88 kg so this is the this is the total weight of the steel using along x axis. Okay, now I will find out the y axis along y axis weight of total steel. So already 3000 3, by 3000. So we can just multiply with 2. Okay, because one side is also 3000, another is also 3000. If this 3000 is, suppose this is 2000, for example, so you can use same formula, but you will use here 2000, because both sides, is, uh, uh, both sides are equal with each other, so therefore I am just multiplying with 2, so it will give us the total weight of the footing which, are, which I am using the steel there, okay? So just multiply with 2, okay? It will give us... 89.76 kg okay I will use Anna okay friends so now I will find out steel and vertical section okay so for that we have to uh, use the steel along vertical section right same like this okay another one is same like also Okay. But I have to use four bars or four steel and vertical or vertical bars. Okay, so serial number two. I will use the dia and vertical, the dia of the steel and vertical section, it will become. 16 in it, right? Okay, so already you can say vertical bars and column, right? But remember from the rough to length level, we have a 700 mm length, okay? 700 millimeter is the distance between raft from the two plane level right okay but I will use here 16 mm right 16 mm dia for the verticals these okay, like this so how much numbers are required already we have a one two three four okay so 
four numbers. Now, length in meter. Okay? So, how much is the length of each bar? Okay? So, for that, I will use We have a length, we need the length here, so I will uh, do calculation here, okay? So L is equal. Already we have a total length is, from length, length level to top of the column is 3 meter is equal to 3000 millimeter plus 700 millimeter from the length level to raft. 700 plus the raft depth is 300 millimeter. Yeah. Right? Now uh, we have uh, also subject cover. Okay? Cover is also already 50 millimeter. And plus there, here is a band of bar. Okay, band of bar which is also 300 mm. Okay, plus 300 mm, but this is the length of each bar. Okay, each bar length. And again, I will plus this tree will become from here to here again. Okay, like this. It will close from the top. Right? So this is also complete covered, this is also complete covered, plus 300 and subtract 2 cover. Why? Because this is one cover and this one is other cover, okay? Now, again use calculator for calculation, 300 subtract 50, okay? Because cover is 50, so 250 plus 300, 700 plus 3000 okay it will come uh, now we will uh, again plus 300 plus 300 subtract 2 cover 1 cover is equal 50 millimeter so 2 multiply cover, cover is 50, so 100, 2 multiply 50, okay, 2 multiply 50, so from 300 we will subtract 100, so it will comes 200, so plus 200 with 300, okay, will comes 5000 millimeter, okay, is equal 5 meter. The length of each bar. Okay, so here we will put here what? 5 meter. Now, again I will use here, so I will erase this, also erase this side. Okay, so I will again use the formula for the unit weight. So, a square divided by 160. Okay? Is equal, I will use here the dia is already 16 here. 16 multiply 16 divided by 160. So, 16 multiply 16 is equal divided by 162. 1.5 Sorry. Uh, 1.5 and kg. Okay, per meter. So 1.58, 1.58 kg is the weight of per meter, right? Now the total length. So we have uh, we have the die is uh, already 16. So we don't multiply with this because we have to take from numbers. So four numbers. Okay, and the length of each bar is five. You multiply unit weight per meter is one point. 5.8 becomes 31.6 kg. Okay, so uh, 
This is the easy way to find out uh, reinforcement and column and also footing. If you have any question, you must comment. I will reply your answer. Remember, actually one thing in mind here, how do you can find out the uh, weight of steel and stirrups? Okay? So there is my lecture. I will put it in the description. You must watch for the stirrups. Weight of stirrups. How we can uh, find out uh, the weight of stirrup and column. Okay? So for that you must watch that lecture and subscribe this channel for more update videos. Thank you. All the best. Bye.